you are going to learn how to read the structured drawing, specifically the pad footing or the pad foundation in this video. Let's first clearly understand what a pad foundation means. So, this is a pad foundation. It supports single point loads such as structure columns, group of columns or framed structures. Then this load is spread by the pad to the soil or rock below. These pad foundations also support the ground beam. Considering this foundation layout with different pads or footings, that is pad F1, pad F2, pad F6 and many more, let's take a look at this example of pad F2B with column C4 and column C2E here. It will look like this in reality physically on ground. This is pad F2B with column C4 here and this is column C2E here. This is its location at the extreme corner here. Let's take a look at its details in the section. This is section 4 for pad F2B. We identify this section from the rest of other sections by reading here. This is 4 and this is its section here. This is 5 and this is its section here. This is 6 and this is its section here and many more. Considering our pad F2B, the drawing tells that the depth here will be 1 meter 750 millimeters up the structure slab level. This is its length as 3.2 meters and this is its width as 2.2 meters. This is the plan view as seen from above, whereas this is the side view as seen from aside. The first layer here is 50 mm thick mass concrete blinding. After concrete blinding, these are spacer blocks. In the foundation, we use 50 mm spacer blocks or concrete covers both at the bottom and in the sides. After the spacer blocks, we have steel bars for the pad footing. Along this shorter side, the drawing details that we shall have 20 steel bars of H12 with code 7 and spacing as 150 mm for bottom one and top one. This first figure 20 here always shows us the number of steel bars we are supposed to have along a given length. This H12 shows us the thickness of the steel bars along that given length. This figure always in the middle here says 7 means the code which helps us to understand where specific steel bars start and end from. For example, consider a slab with different steel bars taking different directions without codes, it would be a mess and difficult to understand. This 150 mm means the spacing from one steel bar to another center to center. B1 means bottom one, which we must always lay along the shorter side and B2 means bottom two, which we must always lay along the longer side. T1 means top one steel bar that we must always lay along the shorter side and T2 means top two bars that we must always lay along the longer side. When arranging steel bars in the base or in the slab, we begin with steel bars along the shorter side, then we tie those along the longer side later due to sagging and bending moments. Therefore, these first bars that we align in this direction are called bottom one, then these ones that we tie later on top of bottom one are called bottom two steel bars. As it is in the drawing, 20 H12 with 150 mm spacing for bottom one will be sitting on ground, it looks like this. Bottom one steel bars will run along this direction. These bars which run along here are the ones which touch the ground. Then on top of them we have bottom two steel bars which will run along this direction. Similarly, top bars will also be arranged like bottom bars, that is top one along the shorter side and top two along the longer side. I hope you get the concept. Always also bend these steel bars to act as separators or chairs to separate bottom bars and top bars. They are not always included in the drawing but you always need them. Also cater for them in the bar bending schedule and steel order sheet. After casting mass concrete in the base for blinding, mark the position for the columns with the help of grid lines and lime like this. For example for this particular pad F2B. The drawing details that these columns are 400 mm along the length and 200 mm along the width and that's how we exactly marked it on ground. This is 400 mm along the length and this is 200 mm along here. Grid line 1.4a passes along here, also grid line 1.4a passes along here. Grid line 1f passes here, grid line 1f passes also here. After marking the position for all columns, then place steel and cast the concrete for these pads together with the stab columns. That's the end of this video about how to read the structured drawing for the pad foundation or footing. I hope you get something from it. 
let's watch this next video about how to read the structured drawing for columns.